Welcome back to another Darkfold tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to animate um, an envelope inside Blender. So I'm going to just jump into the top view here by pressing number pad 7, shift A, add a plane. And we're just going to scale this a little bit on the X axis. So we can now just tab into edit mode. And if we press G, then Y, we can move this down on the Y axis. Also, if you hold control, it will also snap it for us a little bit. We just want to line this up on the origin point here. So now if we tab back out of edit mode and add a modifier, come to generate, down to mirror. I'm going to check clipping and change this from X to Y. So now when we jump back into edit mode by pressing tab, we can control R to add a loop cut. So depending on where you hover over, which edge you hover over, it will try and add one there. So we want to add one here by left clicking and also drag it for us. So if we just right click, it will add it to the middle for us, which is what we need. So now we're going to use the knife tool by pressing K. And if we just click here, we want to get it in the middle. So we can just again press control and it will snap it for us. So press control, then click. And then we just want to add the one over here. Okay, so now if we press enter, it should add it for us. And let's just, uh, what we're going to do is delete some of these faces. So come to face select. I'm going to be deleting some of these faces. So let's just tab out of edit mode and then press apply on the mirror. So now when we jump back into the edit mode, we just want to delete uh, these three up here. So press X and we just want to delete the faces. So now you have the basic shape of an open envelope. Uh, we need to do a couple more things first. So let's just save this and tab back into edit mode. With face select, select uh, mode selected, let's choose this face and press P. We want to separate by selection. So now jump out of edit mode. These two pieces are now separate. So I've just click one of these and just G. We can see it's not connected in any way. Okay, good stuff. So what we want to do is add in a lattice. And this is kind of like the first tutorial we did. It's very similar, but there's a few steps we need to change. So if you've not seen that, um, yeah, I wouldn't go back and see it because the audio is terrible. So yeah, with the lattice selected, let's choose the lattice properties and come to W here and we want to choose this to 1. And with the V, you can increase this as much as you want. I'd say around 20 is a good number. Okay, so you might want to scale it on the x-axis to try and fit the envelope, but it's not needed. The It will bend the way you need it to, so don't worry about that. So let's just move this over here out of the way. Add in uh, an empty plane axis and again move this over a little bit and also we can move it on the x-axis so it's on the left hand side it doesn't have to be exact as long as it's in roughly the same area it should work for you okay so now if we select the lattice and we're going to give it a modifier let's come to modifiers and we want to give it a simple deform and now with a few settings in this panel we can change just change it to bend and then axis origin, you want to choose the origin that we just made. The empty, sorry, not the origin. <laughs> okay, so now it should look a little bit like this, and that's working fine. We want to select the axis, and it's important you choose the plane axis. We want to press R to rotate on the Z axis, 90 degrees. Then press enter, and it looks something like this. Now we want to press R on the Y axis, 90 degrees. And then you've got something like this. There you go. So now with the lattice selected, we come to this, the deform and we can change the angle here to make it, make it curl around on itself. And what I want um, is something a little bit like this, just to scoop the, uh, the envelope open. So we try and grab it now and move it around, it will completely mess up. So what we need to do is first select the lattice, then shift, right click on the empty, press control P, and we want to set parent to object. So now when you want to move the lattice, you just use the, uh, the empty, just press G on the empty, and everything should move fine. Okay, so now for them two to affect this uh, flap here, what we need to do is add a modifier. But before we do that, let's just tab into edit mode and then press W, and we want to subdivide it. And the amount of subdivisions is up to you. But maybe you want to add a few more, then that's up to you. Okay, so now once we've subdivided it, we can come to the modifier and add in a, dis uh, a lattice modifier. So let's just select the object 
which is the lattices that we created. So now when we move this empty here on the y-axis, it should start scooping up the flap, which it does. So that's the first part done. Okay, so we will be keyframing that to, um, to make it move. But what we can do is just add another empty, and we want to give this a circle. I'm just going to rotate this on the z-axis 90 degrees, so it looks a little something like this. And this is going to do the rotation for the flap. So if you select the flap, then shift, then right click the circle, and again control P to add a parent. So now when we select the circle and rotate on the x-axis, it will do something like this, which is exactly what we need it to do. But we also want this um, empty to be parented as well. So again, shift to select, control P. So now when we rotate this on the x-axis, everything moves fine. Uh, let's just check that it works as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so let's start keyframing things. Save this first. And with the empty selected, this is the thing that we're going to um, keyframe. So set your timeline, how, how long you want the animation to last for. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this at the moment. I'm probably going to make the envelope fly up into the camera and then fly off screen, but um, as for everything else I'm not too sure. So let's start it at 25 frames, in fact let's start it 2 seconds in, for, so for me that's 50 frames. So let's add in a location for the empty, and then let's say 1 second ahead. Let's just move this over to about here. So then press I and then hit location. And it's important you only use the location for that one. So now when we select the circle, we want to um, keyframe the rotation for that. So we want to start around here. So press I and this time we only want it for rotation. Let's jump a few frames ahead. So let's say about frame 85, let's say. And then let's give it a full rotation. So rotate on the X axis 180 degrees. Then hit I and then rotation. So we've got some, a little looking, something that looks a little like this and now we can start keyframing the lattice to make it actually bend. Okay so we want it to start around here, we can hit I in the deform and then as it gets to around here we can start bending it back on itself. So if we come over to the deform again and let's just go the opposite way and then we can hit I again so between, and go a few frame, frames forward, and just keep modifying it a little bit, give it as much curl as you want. I'm going to jump to 85, which we know is the end frame. I want to just put this back to zero, press I, and there we go. So again, you might want to put more effort into the, the way it bends and the way it flaps, but I mean, for now, I think that looks fine. Don't worry about it clipping in the other, um, the other object, we will be adding some thickness to it. In fact, we can do that now. So we select the original envelope and we come here to the modifiers and add a solidify. We just want to increase the thickness so it comes the opposite way, so it goes down rather than up. Now let's select the flap and we can do the same for that. Let's just add a modifier. Uh, solidify. And it's actually going the way we need it to, so you can lower it if you want. I'm just going to uh, select the envelope here and jump into edit mode by pressing tab. Select these faces here, and I want to extrude it up a little bit so that it looks like there's an inside to the envelope. There we go. So just make sure, we can do some beveling later on. Um, so I'm just going to close the flap, well, play the animation through and make sure that the top flap is still bigger than the envelope. So it all looks fine to me, that looks pretty well. And the next thing we need to do is add another empty to control the whole thing. So let's just set up the camera first. I'm going to just drag it up on the z-axis, on the y, rotate, there we go, because I want it to be looking down maybe at a desk, the envelope's going to be you know, sat on a desk and then it's going to fly up to the camera maybe. So we need uh, again another empty to control everything, so let's just add in a cube, and I'm going to put it pretty much in the center of the envelope, because that's where the rotation is going to be. Let's scale it down, and scale it on the z so it looks a little better. And now we just want to control, well, we want to shift click the um, parent the empties. So we're going to parent the circle to the cube, and we also want to parent the envelope itself to the cube. 
So now everything moves when you select the empty and yeah. So now with the cube selected, we just want to hit I for a location for the starting point. And let's say jump to frame 100 and by then it should be up at the camera. I'm just going to split this window so we can see it better. Also going to rotate this on the X axis so it faces the camera completely. Just move it up a bit. Okay. So then when you've got it in position, you just want to hit I and then location rotation. Now since I forgot to put the rotation in at the beginning, what we can do is just press Alt R and it will clear all the rotation. Then if we hit I and then we want location rotation. So I should have done that in the beginning, but I forgot. So now you've got the rotation done. In fact, that's still not right, I don't think. It's still showing us the back of the envelope. So I want to rotate. Let's do it on the Y, Y, rotate 90 degrees. So there we go. So it's starting off, it's closing the envelope and it's going to show us the front of the envelope. Let's maybe have a name appear on it. And then I want the envelope to maybe fly off the screen. So again, let's just, just jump a few frames forward. So maybe I want the, the text to appear on the envelope. Maybe that's too much. Okay, so hit I, location, rotation. Jump a few frames forward, hit another one. So then I want this now to fly off the screen. So jump a few frames forward, then move it in position. Let's also give it some rotation. Then hit I, then location, rotation. So again, just keep adding location, rotation, and make some different movement paths or whatever you want to do for your scene. And just add in a few background objects. So yeah, so I hope this tutorial helps. And yeah, if it did, make sure you give it a like. And be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.